There it is. There's the look. I've seen it for 17 years on face after face. You've all despised me. Kingslayer. Oathbreaker. A man without honor. You've heard of Wildfire. The Mad King was obsessed with it. He loved to watch people burn. The way uh, their skin blackened and blistered and melted off their bones. He burned lords he didn't like. He burned hands who disobeyed him. He burned anyone who was against him. Before long, half the country was against him. He saw traitors against him, everywhere. So he had his pyromancer place caches of wildfire all over the city. Beneath the sept of Baylor and the slums of Flea Bottom, under houses, stables, taverns, even beneath the Red Keep itself. Finally, the day of reckoning came. Robert Baratheon marched on the capital after his victory at the Triton. But my father arrived first, with a whole Lannister army at his back, promising to defend the city against the rebels. I knew my father better than that. He's never been one to pick the losing side. I told the Mad King as much. I urged him to surrender peacefully, but the king didn't listen to me. He didn't listen to anyone who tried to warn him, but he did listen to Grand Meister Paisley. That gray, sunken cunt. You can trust the Lannisters, he said. The Lannisters have always been true friends of the Crown. So we opened the gates and my father sacked the city. <laughs> Once again I came to the King, begging him to surrender. He told me to bring him my father's head. Then he turned to his pyromancer. Burn them all, he said. Burn them in their homes. Burn them in their beds. Tell me, if your precious Renly commanded you to kill your own father and stand by while thousands of men, women, and children burned alive, would you have done it? Would you have kept your oath then? First I killed the pyromancer. And when the king turned to run, I drove my sword into his back. Burn them all, he kept saying. Burn them all. I don't think he expected to die. He, he meant to burn with the rest of us and rise again as a dragon to turn his enemies to ash. I slit his throat to make sure it didn't happen. That's where Ned Stark found me. <laughs>